let's see. Mic check. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, all right, all right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, see, people still have to jump in. That's all right. We're gonna get started because I'm freaking hungry. Welcome. My name is Jamona. Um, I stream games, but I also stream that I cook in the kitchen. What's up, Doctor? Ooh, yeah. What's on the menu today? Um, type explanation mark menu, Doc, and you'll see. How are you doing, sir? What's up, Mark? What's up, what's up, guys? Happy Thursday. Whoops. You wrote it. Uh, I didn't know you, you, you were able to type French. No, wait, that's not French. I think French, they say it the same. They write it the same. What's up, guys? Yeah, chicken tortillas. Uh, straight up, easy food. But that's kind of the scenario for today. Um, imagine you had a long day at work. You get home. Hold on, I have to stand a little bit in the light here. You come home. You don't want to cook. But you got to. So you don't want to spend a lot of time. Well, what you gonna make? Chicken tortillas. Easy, fast, you know. Um, now, so it's kind of South American, Mexican, you know. I'm gonna, I, I always make them my own style. And I think, well, maybe you could say it's kind of got an uh, Indian influence because I'll, I'll be using some uh, cumin and curry. So it's kind of a weird international tortilla twist made by a Dutch guy. <laughs> so stuff we need, the wraps, of course. I got some tortilla wraps over here, just natural. No, no herbs in it or anything. Just plain. Chicken thighs, you can use chicken filet, but I like thighs because yeah, that's nice and tender, you know. Um, can't do without the chicken at the chicken farm, guys. Um, some veggies. I got some lovely kidney beans. I love kidney beans. Delicious. Nice color, too. I got some corn. And got a tomato. Well, it says two tomatoes. One is enough, I guess. It's just me and my girlfriend. Uh, paprika, bell pepper, however you call it. This is a tiny one, but I like it that it's yellow. Uh, onion. Um, also, I'm gonna fill it up with some cheese, and I'm gonna marinate the chicken. But I'm also gonna use it for something else. I'm gonna make like a dip sauce for the tortillas. I'll talk about that in a bit. Chili sauce, the sweet one, and for the sauce I just mentioned, I'm also gonna use mayonnaise. Dutch can't do without mayonnaise. Look at this big jar. Um. And we're gonna flavor some stuff. As I mentioned, the curry, I got some yellow curry powder over here. Mandras, to be precise. Let's see, I made pork shoulder with a dry ghost chili rub and some mushroom, asparagus, and thyme stuffing. Oh. I mean, if you just said asparagus, then you I was sold already, Dr. Ouya. Did you use the green or the white ones? Or the purple ones? You also have purple asparagus. As you can see, winter is coming, guys. It's, uh, let's see, it's not even 6 p.m. over here. Uh, it's uh, 20 minutes past 5, so it's 5.20 p.m. And as you can see, it's already almost dark outside. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, the cumin. I got some cumin over here. Uh, also powder. So you got intense flavor. That's for the chicken. And I see I forgot to bring out the chili flakes. Got some chili flakes over here. So that's also for the chicken. And I see I didn't put it in the list. But I'm also going to use sesame seeds. I always buy this big bag. Then I roast them and I keep them in a jar. And every now and then I use them. 
when I cook, it's always good to have stuff in your warehouse, in your kitchen. Uh, use green, slow cooked for about three hours. You cooked uh, the asparagus for three hours? I never, I never cook green asparagus. Um, I always grill them or bake them with a little bit of uh, olive oil and some garlic. Hmm. But I never cook them. The white ones though, those are the ones I cook, but only for like 10 minutes or so. Oh, the whole thing. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. So you you like to slow cook the, the, the meat, the pork. That's something I like to do too. Uh, especially in summer, I got this barbecue. Oh, wait, maybe I can show you. No, it's too... Is it too big? Well, I don't know. So uh, let's see. <laughs> so it's kind of... Uh, yeah, it's like a barbecue, but it's also for smoking stuff like smoked ribs or chicken or whatever and i spent like three hours like you mentioned dr ouya um and i use stuff like beech wood and stuff like that you know to sm to give that uh, smoky flavor to the meat but you cook it real slow on low temperature so that's so i feel you on that three hours oh man that must have been delicious man that must have been delicious. Oh yeah, the cheese, by the way, uh, this is like an old cheese. Um, kind of, well, Italian style, I guess. Like really salty. Um, we're gonna rasp that in a bit and then we're gonna put that in a tortilla later. Um, so first I'm gonna start off with the chicken. Let's put this aside for a bit. Um, I'm not going to bake that in the pan. I'm going to bake that in the oven, which is set to 175 degrees Celsius. Um, a quick calculation. I think that's about, uh, let's see, about 350 Fahrenheit, something like that. 32 more to go. What's up, God? No, 30. Oh, yeah, 32. You're right. Uh for those who don't know what Cop God is talking about, he's referring to live cooking episode 69. You know, 69, it's a very important number for us men. What's up, Neptune? Neptune drops in and immediately hears disgusting talk about 69. So, I got the chicken thighs. And I'm gonna make like the tea couple of tortillas for two persons so you'll have about four tortillas maybe one more how are you doing Neptune <laughs> yes it's kind of a thing for cup God when he drops by at the cooking streams it's the first thing he says and then from there we'll talk about other stuff but first he's got to mention the 69 episode and it's got to be like a recipe we, me and cup God we still haven't decided what the recipe is going to be. He mentioned like something sensual, like chocolate mousse or something. But yeah, we already did chocolate mousse one time. So I don't know. We have to come up with something smooth and sensual. You know, something that fits 69. Um, for everybody who knows the the 69 position have you ever heard of tartin that's like uh, a pie but here it comes guys keep that 69 in the back of your head tartin, it's like a, a, a pie that's cooked upside down get it so maybe we should do tartin <laughs> Uh, I'm good, Neptune. I'm good, thank you. Thanks for asking. Keeping a little, little bit low lately on Twitch, but that's all right. Spent uh, more time on other stuff than just gaming and such. But the cooking shows, they've always been here. They never went away. At least one, sometimes two times a week. <laughs> Shout out to Jamon. <laughs> Uh, Cop God is in his garden shooting his air rifle. It's been a good day indeed. Yeah, Cop God, he's uh, 
He's want to join the military or something. Ah, thank you, Neptune. How are things going on your end? I, I saw you when I woke up early yesterday, I believe. I saw you live, but I was like busy doing other stuff with the email and finding work and such. But I saw that you were doing a late nighter. I mean, if it's early for me, then it means it's late night for you. So, chicken, guys. As mentioned, I'm gonna marinate that with some stuff. So I got some chili sauce. That's for the sweetness, but also, you know, there's a lot of sugar in chili sauce. So when you put that in the oven or bake it in a pan, it will the sugar will will car caramelize. Damn, that's a hard word for me, guys. Even in Dutch, it's hard for me. Caramelisere. Didn't that sound sexy, by the way? The Dutch word for caramelize. Caramelizeren. Beautiful. Some chili flakes. So here's the kind of the Indian twist to it instead of the Mexican twist. Curry powder, the yellow one. Uh, man mandras. Curry mandras or mandras. I don't know how to say it in English. Uh, M A N D R E S. Some cumin. Not too much. I like cumin if it's a little bit there, but if it's too much, then ugh. just like mustard. I hate mustard alone, but if you combine it with other stuff and it's just a little bit there, then it's delicious, you know. And some sesame seeds. I always have these pre-roasted. So I buy this big bag of sesame seeds and then I roast it in the oven. And whenever I feel like using it in a recipe, I grab them out of the closet. And they're nearly, the jar is nearly empty. So that means I need to go to the Asian supermarket again soon. What's up, Janusko, maatje, vriendje. And all the cool people dropping by today. Appreciate that, guys. We're doing the scenario of... We worked a long ass time today and we're tired and we don't want to spend too much time on cooking. So that's the kind of recipe we're doing right now. Uh, chicken goes in the oven about... Mm, well, I'm gonna check it within 10 minutes and my, my guess it will be done then. We'll see. Uh, I need a clean cutting board because I just cut the chicken on that other one. Now, I'm um, going to quickly rasp the cheese, taking off the outside the skin. I'm not going to use the whole piece. Tomorrow I'm making pasta for my girlfriend, so I have to save some of the rasp. Okay, noise incoming. How are you doing, Janusko? Martijntje! Alles lekker? Hold on. I still got my laptop charged. Charger inside the, the plug. Need to take that away. Sorry for the motion in the camera, guys. Oh, it's just a small camera, so that's okay. Motion sickness. If virtual reality is the future of gaming and you're suffering from motion sickness, damn. Then it's not a good time to be a gamer. <laughs> Alles gaat kitst achter de rits. Oh god. Betekent dat dat... Uh, you know, uh, you uh, grabbed them by the pony. Martin. Uh, I'm gonna make some noise with this blender. Maybe. Uh, you're not gonna share that with us, of course, here. It's inappropriate for me to ask. So, cheese rasp. Finished. Okay. I'm gonna use that later. But I thought let's do it now. Get this device out of the way. 
The more space, the better. Right, let's start up cutting some veggies. And I'm also, as you can see, that's one thing you really need if you're gonna make this and you wanna do it quick. Well, it's good to have it nevertheless. Example, if you want to make some grilled sandwich, the folding grill. Can't do without the folding grill. Um, we're gonna grill the tortillas in that later. First, we're gonna make the veggie mix. So, I got an onion over here, a shallot to be precise. You can use regular onions. Also, if you wanna, of course, I, I like bought the fancy cheese, not the fake one, guys, not the fake one. I bought the fancy cheese and I had to cut it up in the machine. You can always just like buy this package of pre cut cheese, you know? So you don't have to do it yourself necessarily. I'm just gonna cut the onion in half rings Tinder is het enige wat <laughs> Je weet dat het daar niet voor is hè Martijn dat Tinder dat is voor andere dat is meer voor het romantische aspect Maar ja als je er eentje vindt dan is het altijd handig natuurlijk <laughs> Yes Neptune I got the fancy stuff That's not the only machine I have I got multiple devices I got the folding grill I got the uh, machine behind me. I used it a couple of times. I'm not gonna grab it now. Oh, maybe you can see it on the camera. Can you? Over here on the fridge. Um, but that's more for making dough, like pie for pie or such, um, or big amounts. It's more of a thing you find in the, in the bakery, you know, that kind of machine. And the machine I just used to cut up the cheese, that's like a, like a universal mixer. You can put different pieces on it and then use it for different purposes. It's always nice to have. So it's a good investment, you know. If you care about your devices, then you know they don't they don't really break that fast or anything. Um, paprika, bell pepper. What else? How many names does this thing have? We, in, in, in the Netherlands, we say paprika. But sometimes I see English people use, not everywhere, but some use it, say bell pepper. It all depends on where you live. Ga mooie jongen. Lekker Janusko. Begon met een weddenschap. Oh, dat is nooit goed. Als ze daar achter komt, Martijn. Uh, tomato, tomato, tomato. Uh, nee, je spreekt het uit als paprika. paprika. <laughs> Ripapka. Oh, whatever. You know it when you see it, hoop. Oh. Damn. Slippery tomatoes. Gob God. You don't have to put on a red light. Now you need to clean your gun, Cup God. Your air, your air gun, or whatever it was. So, let's start a fire over here. Well, I'll take a sip of my coffee. Nearly forgot about my coffee. Sixty two K in the jackpot. Mm. Oh, by the way, 
I nearly forgot. Yes. Chicken arc. Oh, we both did the hint. My bad. What's the hint? When you are in danger, you can hide in their house. Oh. Well, certainly not Christians. <laughs> oh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> um, I'm using some sunflower oil, sunflower oil. I'm gonna start baking the veggies. Wait, there was a there was a, a barn heist. I missed it. <laughs> they are gonna hide me. They they got my back. I'm not sure if I want that too. <laughs> Oh, it says you can hide in their houses. Religion or like Amish. Well, they have houses, the Amish, of course. I don't know. Maybe you should start trying colors again. Is that so, Doc? I don't, I don't know. Uh, I, I have no clue if that's if that's true. Because I think most people... Of course, we got religious people here in the Netherlands. But <laughs> I think most people are atheists. I saw this thing on the news the other day. Well, it was quite a while ago that church after church is closing down. Because they didn't have enough members to keep it running. In other words, they need money. Money. Salt, a little bit. I'm also gonna add a little bit of the curry to it. Uh, not saying I am one, uh, but again. Some tortillas too now. Oh. Um, you're probably go knowing you, Martin. You're probably going to order them. Give us another hint, please. Now, try colors. Maybe it has colors. Whatever it is. You found the color? You did? Oh, I missed that. Oh, red. Hospital. A hospital isn't red. I think you're think thinking too cryptical on that one. I'm sure... Yeah, okay, the symbol. I... I... It never gets old for me, guys. Seeing you guys struggle with the chicken arc. It never gets old for me. I, I always keep enjoying it. It's 
So I'm also going to add the kidney beans and the corn. And of course, this takes a little bit longer. I, will, I, I thought like this is quick meal and of course right now you're thinking, well, shouldn't be done by now. Of course we're taking time to also chat with each other. If it's just you in the kitchen, you can just do it like tic-tac-toe. Human meat farm. Oh, it's whatever it is. It apparently has a house. So, like cannibal, cannibal, yeah. If you're, cannibalism is not like some somebody or something. And maybe you know, house is something. Something different when it belongs to that thing, you know. Maybe you don't call it a house, but because it's a hint, it's kind of a little bit cryptical. Also, danger. Why? Why? Why does the hint say something? particular about being in danger in combination with height at their house and you got red so whatever it is wait did you just guess red sometimes it has multiple colors guys But let's say, okay, it's red. So it's at least it's red. And it has a house where you can hide if you're in danger. Maybe... Maybe there's a term for it, like a definition of something. Who knows, you gotta guess. I don't have anything to grab the hot food with. Not even a goddamn towel or something. I'm checking on the chicken, which has been in the oven for 10 minutes now. And it's a little bit longer. Gonna put the veggies on low fire. Uh, you you guys are doing like stuff like safe house shelter uh, bunker. I saw bunker once. Um, those are if if in this particular hint that would be the house. That would not be the 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 thing we're looking for. That owns the house. But what else? Because now you got safe house bunker shelter. So those are all places where you can hide if you're in danger. But what else, what kind of else named stuff are stuff where you can hide? I'm really trying to help you guys without spoiling too much. <laughs> Oh, if you want to try the chicken arc uh, word doc, um, do like explanation mark, of, uh, sorry, explanation mark arc is, and then the word, like uh, Copcot and Neptune are doing right now, attic. But whose who's, who's house will that be if it's the attic? I mean, you know, so that's incorrect too. Arcus Anna Frank. 
I like the way you think, but that's incorrect. Man, I love I love seeing the struggle. Uh, all right, one more step to go. Well, no, that's not true. That's incorrect. I'm gonna make wait. This is way too much. <coughs> A little sauce, really, but I I like to eat it with a lot of stuff. So I got some mayonnaise. This just to dip. Of course you can make garlic sauce or whatever. Whatever you like, you know. But this is what I always do when I eat this. Chili sauce. Curry. Why doesn't the hint work anymore? It's a uh, one word, Doc. Hold on. I'm gonna check my other laptop real quick for you guys. Oh, I see why it doesn't work anymore. Hold on. Let's see. <coughs> what can I say about the hidden word to help you guys a little bit? Mm. Not a lot. Oh wait, I know one. So there was a movie once, and whatever it is we're looking for, the people in that movie, they spent a lot of time in their house, and because they were in danger, a lot of movies. Usually when they getting shot with longer range guns. <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to, you know how hard it is for me to set up a hint, guys? Because you want to help, you want to give a hint, but you don't want to make it too easy. Like, and that's, what I'm trying to do right now on the spot, like say something without spoiling too much of the, you know, otherwise the whole puzzle element will be gone. What's up, Leon? Let's take a look at the chicken. Mm. There was also a movie once where the actual thing we're looking for had a part in itself. Um, he became friends with the enemy. Well, one particular enemy. Really sad movie too. Ooh, chicken pesto. Hmm. <laughs> you guys. It was a uh, a movie for kids. 
There were no real people in that movie. But there were people in that movie. But no real people. Yes. So this is the mix for the tortillas. Army. I can't remember if his enemy died in the end or himself, but one of the two died in the end. Really sad. <laughs> Damn, I, I I really really said too much right now. Finding no, it's an older movie than Finding Nemo. I got a feeling that that Neptune knows, but he's trying to let other people guess it. Well, quite quite a lot older. Oh, another thing I can give you about this movie. They both had a name that started with the same letter. Some of the cheese. Not too much, because it's really salty cheese. If it's animated, yes. It's an animated movie about two, um, well, not humans, and at start there are enemies, but they become friends, and that's what this movie is about. And they both have a name that starts with the same letter, and we're looking for the thing that one of those two is and you can hide at this house when you're in danger so I'm gonna place the tortilla under the grill well I'll grill that I'm gonna make my second and the rest will be for my girlfriend which who is now like uh, working out with her girlfriend at the gym she always works out on Thursday oh I'm making a mess over here uh, Tarzan is a human all right, this is the last thing I'm gonna do. 
from here on no more hits so it is an animal you can hide at his or her house so whatever this animal's house is called you can hide there And there's a movie about the animal where he becomes friends with his with his enemy. I saw somebody say something about uh, hunting. Hunting has to has a big part in this movie, and it plays a big role between those two animals that are enemies but become friends in this movie hunting is a big part of that damn guys I'm disappointed in you guys I'm cleaning up in the meantime while I wait for my tortilla to be finished. <laughs> I feel like it's from Fox and the Hound. <laughs> Come on guys, it's an animal, it's red, at least it's red, it can have other colors too, maybe. There's a movie about it. Hunting plays a role in that movie. It's an animated kids movie. It's sad. It's like one of the things that also plays a big part in the... There you go. Neptune. Finally. When you're in danger, you can hide at his house. A foxhole. Come on, guys. <laughs> uh. Congratulations, Neptune! You did it again. You're you're clearly the undefeated champion champion when it comes to the chicken arc. How many chickens? A hundred seventy. Yeah, I have to, uh, that list, I, I update that manually. Uh, that's one of the lists I have to update manually, uh, Neptune. I'll do that as quick as possible, but it should be six. Let's see where you at right now. Number five on the leaderboard. Trailing Martin, Sippy, Yonusko, and Mercy. I'm gonna flip it sideways. Frank and Frey. At least that's how the movie was called in uh, the Netherlands. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Now all the hints I gave <laughs> and the hint that was already there in the chat co all comes together now, right, guys? A foxhole. I was like, maybe I should talk about, I don't know, Band of Brothers or Saving Private Ryan or something. But then the whole military aspect of the house, the foxhole, 
may have been too too obvious, you know. That's way different than a fox. How do you mean? Frank and Frey was a movie about a fox and a hound that became friends. I actually don't remember who died. Did the fox or the hound die in the end? I think the fox, right? Or was it the hound that died? I can't remember. What year shit is that movie? 90s? Somewhere in the 90s? Because Ducky was talking about like how is it older than Nemo? How much older? I think it was the 90s. Hmm. Number uno is ready. Nooit gezien? Franke Vrij niet? Oh. Zielige film. Janusko. Heel zielig. Chicken Run. I didn't see that one. Chicken Run. Is that uh, with where they, it's not animated, but they made it with uh, clay, or how do you call this? Like, um, just like Wallace and Gromit. Damn, we should give uh, Doctor Uya some chicken guy uh, chickens. He's kind of low on the chickens, but he's a long time supporter. We should give him some chickens off from the house. Hmm. Nice. There you go. On the house. Oh no. I see Cop got paid from his own wallet. Hmm. Hmm. Like if you want to give somebody chickens from your own balance, because only the mods can give chickens from the house. But if you want to give somebody chickens from your own stack, do what Copcut did. Explanation mark give. Tag the one who you want to give the chickens to, and then the amount. Hmm. Mm mm mm. You know what thing is inside these tortillas I like the most? The kidney beans. I love kidney beans. What's up, Tank Buster? Mm. Tank Buster, he's like Starsky, and I'm Hutch, or the other way around. Bunny and Clyde. Mm. Like, name all the dinosaurs that Tommy and Tankbuster are. We've been playing games for, I don't know how many years. Tankbuster. Bassi and Alion. Peppy and Cocky. Laurel and Hardy. Simon and Garfunkel. No. No, it's not Simon and Garfunkel, because they, they broke up as magicians because they were fighting. We'll never break up. Um, are you going to play Battlefield next month? To be honest, Doc, I have been having troubles finding the excitement to play that because I played it so much and normally by now we would have got a new battlefield or something and if you just played it too much and there's nothing new yet then yeah eventually you saw every map every corner every game there can be also 
damn, this is gonna sound cocky, but it, I'm, I can't say it any other way. It like if you play that much as I did, you know, eventually the competition you have is not challenging enough anymore. Seriously, if you play that game, you can literally just walk up to a bush where there's an enemy guy on the ground. You can dip his face while he's alive like a hundred times and then kill him and he still wouldn't notice. So there's no challenge anymore, you know? Well, it nearly made me reinstall the game, uh, Doc. The zombies, because I was like, hmm, that's cool. I remember say, uh, hearing myself say in the past that, like, oh man, all these zombies games, but there's not one zombie game where you can be the zombie. You always have to kill the zombies. Wouldn't it be cool if you were the zombie? Hmm. So I nearly felt like reinstalling it again, just, you know, just to check it out. But then I saw like 180 gigabytes or something, I don't know. I was like, fuck, not worth it. I mean, I can install and play like 20 games from that amount. Shit. Shit. Hmm. Oh, maybe, uh, head start. Leon, do you know, do you know something about the remastered Battlefield 3 they were talking about? Like a while ago when they announced they were working on the new Battlefield, they also announced that they were going to make a remastered version of Battlefield 3. Do you know something about that? Because it's all quiet at EA and DICE about that. You're playing more? Oh, then it must be really fun if you're playing it. If Doc Uya plays a game more than he does on Apex, then it must be good. Yeah, I think... Um, yeah, it's fun, you know? Then, in that way, if you die in the war zone, at least you can still have a little bit of sort of fun, you know? Like... Not really uh, tactical or something or whatever, but you can just run around mindless. Like a mindless chicken, like a headless chicken, you can run around as a zombie. But from what I've seen, Doc, what I didn't like about it, because I uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought I saw somebody, I can't remember who, but he or she was streaming. And at one point, he or she became a zombie because they died. And then I noticed that when you are a zombie, you can still uh, throw like flashbangs and such. Correct me if my, I'm wrong, but... I mean, it would have been a lot cooler if if you were the zombie and you kill somebody and you have like this animation where you... Like you see in the zombie movies, you rip somebody's arm off or you bite them in the neck and you... Oh. All of a the sudden there's like noise under the grill. Right in time, because I just finished my first. Did I hear Apex? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Neptune's game too. Hmm, number two, Woo. hot, 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 I'll cle clean the grill in a bit, once I'm done over here. I totally forgot, I, 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 I was looking so much forward to this freaking tortilla, I forgot to uh, switch to the money shot, just eating it right now. My kind of games are Forza, yeah. Oh, you can talk to Martin 
about uh, racing games, uh, Cop God. Well, Martin, he plays mainly plays um, Formula One. So that's kind of different, of course. Maybe with the new consoles. Well, head start. I hope that uh, that it will be on the old one too. Um, for those who didn't know um, yet, it's not like the deal hasn't been sealed completely yet, but we can assume that it will get the green light. We are going to uh, move to a different house, me and my girlfriend, because um, we're still waiting word from the bank, but all should be good. Uh, we're buying a house. And um, so, you know, that's a big financial thing. So a new console is not in my list of must have for the coming period. <laughs> so I really hope that uh, the if it's going to be there, the remastered start, that it will be on the old console too. Mm -hmm. Didn't I tell you, Tank? I thought I did. Yeah, everything, all the papers, everything, everything the bank needed is at the bank now. Well, it's not a bank, it's part of a bank. It's like a standalone thing, but it's owned by Rabobank. Not sure. No, nee, ABN. It's owned by ABN. Holland won't. Um, so we're just waiting for their response. But we won't get a response uh, until my mother-in-law has her house text. How do you call it? Taxeren. Because we're buying her old house. Basically. But yeah, the bank can only accept the mortgage if they have proof on how much this house is actually worth. They won't give a mortgage unless they know like okay what we're gonna you can with all the papers you got you can have the mortgage but is the house really worth what you're saying it's worth you know so we're waiting for that probably one more week or so housewarming in corona i don't think so uh four size my jam farms in his relaxed stone game mm. you know what my stone game is well, or used to be. <laughs> I still play it, but used to be. <clears throat> City Skylines. Mm -mm -mm. Let me put the sauce in the fridge. I'm eating it. I'm thinking, hmm. This one seems different than the first one. And I know why I forgot to uh, add the cheese. Mm. If there's no Corona anymore by that time. Yeah, sure. Why not housewarming? Enough space in the new house. It's not far away either. It's in the town where me and my girlfriend were born. Right now we're living in a town like five miles away from that town. Maybe a little bit more, 10 miles. Um, but yeah, we want to go back to the town where we were born, which is far more smaller than the one we're living in right now. And if an, if an it wasn't the old house of my mother-in-law, wait, we're not we're not married, by the way, my girlfriend's mother. Then we were never able to move back to our old town because, like, the average house prices in that town are like really high. Like average house price, in in. The town where I was born is like three hundred, three and a half thousand euros. 
that's like, I don't know, $400,000, I don't know, quick math. And that's an average price for a house. And don't expect you get, get like a, a house that's like standing by itself. It's like in the Netherlands, we have uh, Rijtjeshuizen. So all these houses are attached together in one row, you know? And so you'll get a house like that. Not necessarily small, but ain't big either. You can sleep in the kitchen. No, you don't have to sleep in the kitchen no more, Tank Buster. Because we get five bedrooms. You can just stay in the guest room. Have a real bed. The reason why Tank Buster says this, guys, is because Tank Buster actually slept on my kitchen floor once. True story. With my cat. Well, they didn't slept with each other in that kind of way, <laughs> but the ch the cat was chilling on top of Tank Buster. She's like, hmm, you're gonna sleep in the kitchen? I'm gonna sleep in the kitchen too. All cuddled up together. <laughs> hmm. Oh man. Shall I take a third? No, I have to save for my girlfriend. She'll be mad if she only get one tortilla. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> where I'm standing right now, actually. Where I'm standing right now, that's where Tank Buster was sleeping. We had like a clan party. Bunch of guys from the Dutch Incognitos coming together. My house was like the, the location. We did a barbecue and some games and um, I prepared a contest where the winner uh, won like a, the TDI t-shirt. Leon was here too, Head Start Gaming was here too. Is that alweer 2005? Is that alweer so long geleden? 2005? Nah. Volgens mij uh, heb jij al lang een uh, bevestigingsmail gehad, uh, Junusko. Als je je registreert op de site, dan krijg je een uh, automatische mail. Kan eventueel in je ongewenste mailmap komen. En dan moet je je account activeren. Hmm. Volgens mij, mij staat maar bij dat ik, het is al niet lang geleden hoor, dat ik jou geaccepteerd heb toen. Ik hou dat nog steeds één keer per week in de gaten. En anders moet je maar laten weten, dan kan ik het voor jou doen. Als het niet werkt of wat dan ook. Mm. Tankbuster is going out to smoke a cigar. Well, I'm going out to uh, Tankbuster. I'm all done here. I'm gonna clean up. And damn, that was good, man. Mm. So, of course, this took a little bit more time because we were also talking and such. But this is perfect for for after a long day at work and you don't want to order any grease food or something or order anything that can be more expensive than you know than just making it yourself. But but you don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen either after a long day at work. This is perfect. And I think if you do it without streaming like I did, just keep keep cooking, keep going, then You'll be done within 30 minutes or so. Less. 20? 15? Depending on how, how fast you can cut stuff up and do multitasking. Because there's a lot of stuff you can do at the same time, you know. Multitasking. Uh, see you tonight. Uh, depends. What do you want to play? Thank you. Mm.
Because I don't feel like playing... You know, I want to play Astroneer again. I've been asking you, Tankbuster. Last time I asked you, you were like, Oh, no, then time goes too fast. Which is true. Astroneer is like a game where you do something which feels like it took you 10 minutes, but as a matter of fact, 30 minutes passed by instead of 10. Astroneer, nice. Because there were two updates this month for Astroneer, and I still haven't checked it out. That's why I wanted to play it again, because they keep updating that game constantly. So I wonder what's new, you know? One of them was really small, so I guess that was a patch, but the other one was like three gigabytes or something. No, not three, like two. So that's got to be something, right? Maybe new worlds? I don't know. Uh, anyway... Uh, let's see who is streaming <gasps> your queen bee is online you guys feel like some uh, battlefield gameplay queen bee is online shall we rate the queen the queen thank you guys um i really really appreciate it that you guys dropped by you you guys are all, all my favorite people at the chicken farm. All the cool people drop by. Thank Pesteria News, Go Copcat, Dr. Ooh, yeah. Neptune. Congratulations once again on the chicken arc. You did it again, you bastard. That means that Neptune chicken will be on IG again in a bit. Um. What else was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, also, while well, Doc was asking about it, about Battlefield, um, I played it the other day. Maybe I'll keep doing it. I'm not sure when, but I, even though I don't feel like, oh, I gotta play it, I do feel like, oh, I want to stream it. So, uh, probably you guys see a Battlefield stream uh, soon. Not sure when yet. Um, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you. I appreciate you. And all the chickens say hi to you guys. You can't hear them right now. They, they're sleeping. They're, they're laying in the haystack. Um, like I said, we're going to host the amazing Queen Bee. Later, Neptune. The cup got is rusty. Oh, it's like riding a bike. Cup got, once you... Start playing after a couple of minutes, you're back in your old form. The competition in that game is not that high, you know? And I know your skills. Copcat. Chicken raid at the Queen Bee, guys. Um, hello, can you start doing the raid? Yes. There you go. Let's say hi to Queen. Talk to you guys later. Tankbuster, I see you tonight. Later.